Hi guys, welcome to Confessions of a Craft Freak. I am your hostess, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far and you guys are all staying healthy. Um, don't mind my appearance. I just showered. Sorry. So we've had a, we've had a long week. With the holidays last week, we just haven't recovered and it's been kind of a long week, but I just wanted to share this quick and easy little um, craft that we're going to do today. So I want to share it with you. It's super easy, super simple, and it's going to be really adorable. Um, so what I am going to start with is wood rounds. I got a bunch of these. Now the trick is, is like when you're cutting these, you know, it's really hard to make them like um, even. So I tried to cut them as even as possible because the logs aren't necessarily even. So I tried to cut them as even as possible. I just cut a bunch of them and made sure that like I could put something on it and it was not gonna like wobble around. Whoops, sorry, wobbled the whole table. But I just wanted to make sure they were like flat and they were gonna stay um, nice. Cause what I'm gonna do is make some coasters out of these because everybody needs coasters. I have coasters, I use them all the time. And this is a cool little trick. Um, in my last video, I was doing wood burning, and this is a little trick that you could do to make it look like it's wood burned, but it's not actually, and it's it's really easy to do, and um, you can do it pretty cheaply also. Um, so anyway, let's get started. I have four, four rounds. I tried to make, I tried to pick out the most even ones I tested them all out with like a cup and so we're gonna get started on these okay so to do this you need pencil and a sharpie I'm using a stencil um you don't have to use a stencil I just thought it'd be the easiest thing for me right now um so I'm gonna use a stencil but what you can do also is sorry my little buddy is over there <laughs> hanging out but what you can do also is print off something that you want and you can either use carbon paper to transfer it onto the wood or also you could like take your pencil and scribble like all over the back so it's covered and then use something sharp like a pen to like trace around it and it'll transfer onto the wood. That's also another easy thing you can do but um, for time's sake I'm just going to use a stencil. I'm gonna use this little snowflake. It fits perfectly on this round. So we're gonna just go ahead and trace it on here. Try to get it in the middle as, as in the middle as you can get it. Um, I just thought about using snowflakes just because Winter is coming, it's the holiday season, and who doesn't love a snowflake, you know? And these are cute little snowflakes. I like the stencil. Um, actually, the coasters that I have in my living room on my table are snowflakes. And I don't have any other coasters, so I just keep them out all year round, but they're cute. I like snowflakes. Who doesn't love a snowflake? So we're just gonna put this on here, like so. Give me a second. And there we go. Okay. It's on there. I got it mostly centered, I think. Okay, so I did that. I got it on all my other ones. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna trace everything with a black marker. So whatever you did, trace over everything with a black marker. Um, probably like the finer the tip, the better. But also, I mean, if you don't have like a fine tip marker, that's okay too. So we're just gonna trace over what I did. Okay. 
and hopefully this will look cute. It'd probably be best if you didn't have like a shaky hand or anything. Sometimes when I drink too much coffee, I get a really shaky hand. But we're gonna try and get this done without too much problems. So anyway, it's gonna look like that. You can see it's already like looking pretty good. Let me just finish this off really quick. But um, yeah, you could use like square ones, whatever your preference. I just, I like the wood rounds. I think they're cute. Okay, so that's how it looks, right? So I'm gonna do the rest of them, be right back. Okay, so I got all done with the Sharpie. This is how they turned out. I like them, I think they're really cute. Okay, so just to finish this up, yeah, just to finish it up, that's how easy it is. You wanna get polyurethane in a spray can like this. Um, there's a bunch of different brands. Um, doesn't really matter which one you get. There's different, um, I don't even know what to call it. Words are hard. Um, different, like, glossiness, I guess. Like, you can get glossy, clear. This is a satin coat. Um, but, yeah, polyurethane. This is a fast-drying one. You can get indoor use, outdoor use. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it's just a, a spray can like this. Um, it ranges anywhere from like five to fifteen dollars depending on what brand you get but this is fast drying this is indoor um, probably for something like this you would probably want outdoor use it would probably hold the wood together better but this is what's gonna seal the wood and that's what you need to seal in the color you obviously want to seal the wood so it doesn't you know make a mess everywhere but like I did it with my ornament like this I sprayed this already and like yeah it's it's hard and everything you want to make sure the wood gets sealed uh, I'm not gonna bore you with how to do that you guys can figure out how to spray it um, but yeah you spray it let it dry for like 24 hours you can put a second coat on if you want I probably will with these just because I want them to be a little bit more durable than like the ornament but yeah anyway this was like six dollars and it's gonna be cute right like these are just little coasters that you can you know put your drink on or whatever um but yeah do something like this it's super cute super easy it you know it almost looks like wood burned but it's not you know it's just a sharpie and they're cute right so you guys get out there go do some crafting show me what you got if you guys want to do something like this show me i want to see what you guys came up with and um but yeah that's all i got for you today i will see you next time bye